everybody, welcome to the Daily Struggle, and today we, oops, I have a knife, yes, I had a knife the entire time, okay, okay, again, welcome back to the Daily Struggle, and today we are going to do a Landon's Horror Show unboxing, yeah, and don't forget to go to subscribe to my channel, and go to my channel. Landon's Horror Show. Yeah, we have three things to show you. So we're going to start with number one. So we are going to show this. The Leatherface Texas Chainsaw Massacre Knit Series Doll. Okay. So you see there's mo a lot of detail. Even on the side right here. Other side, on the bottom, there's not that much detail on the bottom, but whatever. And then the back, it shows a full fine detail of Leatherface. This is how it's going to look. Might not look the same as, the, as in the back, but it looks good enough. Okay, here's the window too. Yeah. Here it is. It has this plastic thing right here with these little pops. You just unsnap the little unsnappable, well, unsnappables. And here is the plastic piece that holds them. And here it is right here. The Knit Series Hold it up. Leather Face. And it says on the box Z 007. Okay. James Bond. <laughs> Enough with the jokes. So there is a stitch across his head near his hairline right here. What's it feel like? And it feels like plastic. It's just plastic. It's not real knit doll, but it still looks like a real cool in the knit series. Okay. Even with the chainsaw, it looks really cool. Here it is. And then right behind here, this little... Handmade tag right here is rubber. It's like a like a really flexible rubber like this. Okay, that's not all. We're gonna move on to the second thing we're gonna unbox. Okay, so next we have this Marty Abrams retro figure. It's supposed to look like a retro figure. I don't know if it is an actual retro figure or it's supposed to look like one and that says on the back of the box oh uncle dustin behind the camera's ripping guts and i got one too no. <laughs> <laughs> a little squeaker there see on the box it says world's greatest mega monsters dude Jeez, I need figure. a gas mask. Yeah, for your own fart. <laughs> All right, come on. Okay, here it is. It's back, back. Okay, and then here it is out of the box. Um, so I do have two. This one is out of the box. I decided I would, and I wanted to. And look. Would and wanted to what? I wanted to open this guy to see if the chainsaw would fit in his hands. It doesn't, but I think it's for like um, a display, maybe, if you want to do it. Or <laughs> that sound really that sounded really suggestive, but or I don't know how to pronounce words sometimes. So here's this, this back back chainsaw, chainsaw, chainsaw. So. The favorite part about this action figure is that he is so his clothes can come off, his head can come off, even this has Velcro right here, so you could just un undo that, undo that. And the chainsaw doesn't fit in his hands, but I think that's for display and not actually to be opened, but I opened it anyway. Then I have the second one. Second one, I'm probably gonna do this for um, display, maybe, and then I'm gonna have this 
to set up somewhere else. Okay, on to number three. Next up, we're going to start, not start, but this is the next one. It's the John Carpenter Halloween Michael Myers Royal Bobbles bobblehead. And here's the back, side, side, top, and bottom, and the barcode. And it also has, see, if you want to, like, look at it, if it's for sale online, go to www.royalbobbles.com. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. There's some styrofoam in here. I love styrofoam. Believe me. Here it is. Woo! Okay, it says, I met him 15 years ago. I was told there was nothing left. No reason, no conscience, no understanding, and even the most rudimentary sense of life or death, of good or evil, right or wrong. And then the other one says, I met the six-year-old boy, or child. Michael Myers is a male, so he would be a boy. I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blinkest eyes, the devil's eyes. I spent eight and then another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. And the bobblehead, so the glasses in the thing was actually on the side, which is his ghost outfit. He was disguised and then killed. The head does bobble around like this. Okay. Thank you so much for watching another episode of The Daily Struggle. And this will also be on my Landon's Horror Show channel. You can go to the link down below. And you can comment. Like, I have a question for y'all to put in the comments. What is your favorite scary movie? Okay, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye! Bye!